Sunday now and we are slowly moving things into our new house. Um, I shared in the last vlog that we had just closed on a house and the past few days have been a lot of like moving things in slowly, enjoying the pool, and I will give you a tour eventually, but it's complete chaos right now and I will share a little bit of what we've been up to. This fabulous bonus room above the garage with built-in shelves and just to show you how different we are this is my fiance's book collection and I believe he's organizing it by genre and then author's last name and then you come upstairs to my office and on my shelves my books are going to be organized by color because I really like that rainbow shelf look. Hello YouTube, it is Monday now, and I'm not sure how much I showed you in the last few clips while we were at the house, just doing some painting and organizing this weekend, but I am alone now, and I'm much more confident filming when it's just me. So I will take you with me over to the house today. I'm just taking my laptop with me to do a little bit of work, and I'll show you some of my favorite parts of the house. Now I am planning to do like a full house tour of the new place once we're in, once all the furniture is moved. I won't show you everything, but just to, just to give you a little glimpse. I have just pulled up to the house after running a few errands and our front yard has at least five deer in it right now. This is a much more heavily wooded area than our previous house and there are deer everywhere and they don't really shy away from humans we've noticed. We last spoke about three hours ago and I got caught in a whirlwind of work. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of spaces in the house, kitchen included, and then I'll do a full tour once all the furniture is in. At the moment, the kitchen is a horrific mess because we are still unloading. But the one thing I wanted to share that I can share is that we have this fabulous wine fridge and these are really easy, just slide out wood slats. But still, I never thought I would have one of these wine fridges. And the fact that it came with the house, the previous owners left this for us, is very exciting. They also left us this fridge, which is a huge plus because our current fridge, uh, it leaks and it causes all kinds of problems. And it's from like the 60s or 70s. So it feels good to have a nice big fridge. And then the door has this button that you push and it releases an extra like shelving unit. Very handy, very convenient for waters and things of that nature. Oh, but it just feels good to have an ice system that works and no leaking. Hopefully, knock on wood. Coming upstairs, we have the master bedroom. I need to do a little bit of touch up on the paint, but we went with the bare, premium color of the year and it's called cracked pepper now i am in like a black black shirt but this it's not pitch black but it's pretty darn close and we were a little hesitant of what black walls would do in a bedroom but we have some really nice like darker wood gold accents things like that that we're gonna bring into it so now looking at it like completely dry because we've been painting the last few days i think it's really gonna work with what we already have. Turning into the ensuite, you have French doors that open into a really nice space. You've got dual sinks, and then kind of a unique setup over here. You've got the privacy walls for the shower and the toilet. We've already been discussing how we can kind of move this around and maybe get a tub in there and bring the toilet here. But the shower is really nice. You've got his and hers, like shampoo, conditioner, spots, and that's pretty much it. When you turn to the right, coming into the closets, let's see if I can find a light. You've got these built-in shelving units 
And when we first toured the house, we thought these might go with the previous owners, and I'm really glad they left them behind. Ignore that, that is not gonna be the color. <laughs> we were just experimenting when we got our paint samples. We might paint the inside a different color, not entirely sure yet. Something bright as like a in your closet, wake up for the day. But TBD on that. And you've already seen this, but the chaos that is my office, or will be my office, the built-in shelves I am just so obsessed with. They are beautiful and they fit all of my mugs just perfectly. And I'm starting to think that I actually have more coffee mugs than I have books. And that is, that feels like a wake up call. I've been working over here most of the afternoon. So I think I'm gonna take a quick break, just give my eyes a break from screens. Put a few more of these onto the shelves. Really the only books that I have left over here are foreign language books and so those will go on the right hand side and then as I continue to read now that I'm part of a book club and just reading for my own interest hopefully this rainbow part will continue to grow and the idea is to eventually have it go across the span of the entire bookshelf. at the new house today and I'm very excited because as I walked up I saw that the internet equipment has arrived so I will attempt to set that up this afternoon. The guys at the AT&T store told us it is basically plug and play. Fingers crossed because typically with technology when things are supposed to go smoothly inevitably they don't go smoothly and then it's very frustrating but hopefully I can get this figured out because then I can start working from the new house and not do this running back and forth between the morning working at home, coming here for lunch because we've started taking all the kitchen stuff over. It's just, it's too much. Let me see if I can get this sorted out and then I'll head downstairs and make lunch. I think it's gonna go in the bonus room here above the garage because this is the most out of the way but still close enough to the office that I won't have any lack in service. It's just a matter of where to put it. As it turns out, you don't actually get to pick where it goes. There's something already in the house that it has to be attached to. <sighs> I'm learning. Update. It's not easy. It is not plug and play. Apparently the last owners broke something or took a part they weren't supposed to to the AT&T fiber box at our new house. So rather than have it all set up and ready to go today, I get to come back early tomorrow morning for a very vague window when a technician will show up and fix it for us. Coming to you from the new kitchen, I'm just cutting up some Brussels sprouts for lunch. And it is now Thursday. It's been a couple days since I last vlogged. And that is because on Tuesday, it was my fiance's birthday. And I really didn't think that it was appropriate to vlog that. But we went and got a couple's massage, which was lovely, and then we went for a happy hour, and then we ended up at a nice restaurant in town for a lovely dinner at a seafood place. And then yesterday, nothing happened, so it wasn't worth filming. However, I am now putting together lunch in the new house, and I thought I would show you what I am making because it's so exciting to me to have a kitchen that is like well laid out an oven that actually works because our old oven is original I think from like 1967 so it doesn't really get to the temperature you tell it to go to it kind of decides how hot it wants to be and your food may or may not get cooked so this is very exciting to have a working oven in our kitchen I've just finished chopping up some Brussels sprouts we're gonna use a bit of this garlic infused olive oil from Kroger that looks really nice just give those a little dose of that. Some of our absolute favorite Meldon salt. That is all I do to get Brussels sprouts ready for roasting. When these come out of the oven, I will do balsamic vinaigrette and a little bit of Parmesan cheese and maybe throw that over some quinoa for lunch. 
while those are getting nice and roasty toasty, I am going to take you upstairs because a very exciting delivery came today. And it's just one of two things that I'm waiting on. And then we can start moving furniture over and have our house put together a bit more. Our bed frame arrived. We are upgrading from a queen size bed to a king size bed. And this one is just beautiful. It's so big. I love it. I am so excited. <laughs> What's really nice though, is that when they delivered it, they also built it. I got it on All Modern, which I did not realize was like a subsidiary of Wayfair, but it included a white glove delivery service. So they hauled everything up, they built it. I had nothing to do except sign at the end saying, yes, they put it together for me. And now I'm just waiting on the mattress. How perfect is this timing? I think the mattress has just arrived. Oh, this is such an exciting day. I'm really hoping he might haul it upstairs for me. We shall see. Oh my God. <laughs> the delivery person said he was not allowed to come in the house, but he could drop it over the threshold for me. So that's what he did. And I'm really tempted to try to get this upstairs myself because I want to get everything all set up. But that could end really badly. I'm going to try it. sweaty <laughs> we decided to go with an idol mattress which you can only get at walmart because i guess idol as a brand is no longer but when we were in michigan over the fourth of july one of the airbnbs that we stayed in had idol mattresses and it was the best sleep we have ever had it's this topper part this like i'll show you this like memory foam cushiony top to the mattress is like a thousand little hands just cradling you. <sighs> that took it out of me <laughs> more, more than I thought it was going to. Whew. Excited to watch that footage of trying to get this mattress up the stairs. This thing is heavy. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let it breathe for a little bit and get to its full capacity. And then I'll come up and put the sheets on it. But because the bed is now here, I now get to sleep here because we already have internet so I can work from home. And this was like the final piece for me. Mm. All right, now that that mattress is all in place, the Brussels sprouts are done and it is time for lunch. Use a bit of the Trader Joe's balsamic vinegar right over top. Then I just kind of let it soak in and I do it on the actual tray so that it kind of caramelizes and while that is soaking i'm gonna make the quinoa and that's lunch and there you have 
have my delicious creation of quinoa, parmesan, and balsamic Brussels sprouts. Try saying that five times fast. Balsamic Brussels sprouts, balsamic Brussels sprouts, blah, 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 blah. Sprouts, I had to Target to grab a couple of things, but I put our new king size down comforter out to air out and like fluff up. And when I opened the box, it came with this like hand paddle thing. And you're supposed to whack the comforter to fluff it. And I just, I find this hilarious. Like, does this come with every down comforter? Some kind of like hand whack tool? Yeah, but I better believe I whacked it. And it's looking pretty fluffy. Last order of business today. I ran over to our old house and I grabbed the duvet that I washed, the new shams, the sheets, everything that we need to put the king bed together. And I'm gonna put it all together now. there was such thing as National Lipstick Day, but it is July 26th and it is indeed National Lipstick Day. So you better believe I'm going to take a little sneaky peek on the MAC website and see what we find. I have recently decided that MAC is going to be my makeup for the wedding. So I'm trying a few of these different silky matte lipsticks, which are only $14.88 with the sale. And we've got kind of sexy, and then we've got honey love, and this camera's doing a horrific job of showing you what the actual color is. But when they arrive, I will show you what they look like. Hello, everyone. It is Friday now, and we are back in the kitchen. I'm not doing kitchen things, but we got a package in the mail that I ordered from somewhere in Europe. And it is our guest book for our wedding. Yes, this nice, thin, slender, sexy package is actually a guest book. We didn't want to do a standard guest book. We thought if we can get really cutesy and creative with one thing at the wedding, I mean, it's all gonna be great. But one thing in particular, let's do something groovy with the guest book. Because neither of us wanted like a big thick thing sitting out or just tucked away on a shelf that we were never going to look at again. And I know I've never been married, so I don't know if that's actually what happens to your guest book. But I was really excited. Let's break the door off the cupboards. Second week we're in the house. <laughs> anyway, I saw this on Etsy. Because sometimes you don't even know what you're looking for. And if you just type in like creative wedding guest book or creative whatever. It is amazing what Etsy will show you. I really hope this didn't break on the journey across the pond. So I feel like I am looking rough today. We went out downtown last night. That is not something I normally do. I am not your honky tonker. And I did it anyway last night because my fiance asked me to. And I feel like garbage today. This is impossible to open. My goodness. Oh, I see. Ah! They taped the pull tab. So I'm like slicing it open on the other side and that's ineffective. Let's just do this. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, he put together like a whole little package for me wrapped in a little bow. Oh, there's also a little, here's a something extra to help celebrate your special day. Love the love by laser team. It's so cute. What is this? How cute are those? They're little puzzle piece keychains with Mr. and Mrs. on them. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. I'm gonna cry, this is beautiful. I'm hesitant to show it to you already, but you know, if you're watching the vlog, you deserve a sneaky peek. All right, the big reveal. <laughs> we decided to do a record guest book and guests 
sign their name on here with these little pens that came with it. And so everyone can initial and sign and write whatever they want around here. And it has Mr. and Mrs. McGraw, that's us, and the date of the wedding and our first song. I had no idea that this existed until Etsy told me it existed. And I was like, yes, that is so perfect because I've mentioned my fiance is in the music industry. He is on the production side and management side though, not a musician. So then I also picked up the little sign that goes with it, as well as the one that holds the actual album. Just please sign our guest book. Thank you for making our day so special. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. I have made a mess. I was doing so well in keeping the kitchen clean, and then here I have gone and made another mess. Oh, but it's just beautiful. Before I get started, I'm putting all of this together to finish the office so I can work here in peace next week. I had to show you my new Benson Boone t-shirt that Sandy surprised me with yesterday. It is the Fireworks and Rollerblades special edition uh, t-shirt from Benson Boone, and I am so excited about it. Ah! This desk was an absolute nightmare because I had to take the legs off of it and it, it's not as easy as it looks. Like the ends, like these ends fit into there and then there's more screws. So it was kind of a nightmare, but I think once it's all set up, it'll look really nice in here. executive vibes. I love this bookshelf. I love this desk. Oh, this is going to be such a great office. things into the house today we decided to have a little break have a little charcuterie take a little dip in the pool and I think that's where I am going to leave you for this week thank you so much for watching be sure to like subscribe and stay tuned for more